one's on the bottom here. Oh, I love that. Did I say I love this? Yeah, I want you for it. Okay, well, be sure you mark it as sterling. Okay. Uh, here's a beautiful blue cat's eye on wire. Little cat's eye fasted hearts. Nice lobster claw, extended with a bead. There's nowhere on this at all. Go down. So you can see just how beautiful that blue is. I love that too. I have a watch with these little um, charm beads. Fasted, glass beads, very pretty, metal beads. It's on a stretchy. And right now it's not working. It would have to have a new battery to see. Very pretty. There's a nice silver beaded three-tier Necklace. It's got a lobster claw clasp. Extended with the bead. Here's your three tiers. With the beaded stations. Like this. It's a nice piece too. Uh, I don't know if that's a pelican or a Florida one or two. <laughs> yeah, it's got a pelican, but it's missing the top part. Oh. It's a little box. Oh, oh, okay. The top part has a lid and probably with pelican probably, earrings. Yeah. Here's a cool ring. Looks like it's got some writing in there. Very Art Deco. It's 925 it looks like. Yep. Very Art Deco. big for me. It's gold tone on top, silver on the band. Beautiful um, work underneath here. Let's see what it's signed. It's a signed piece. Elizabeth and Make out the Elizabeth quite clearly. And it's got Ann. Almost looks like a Jamie or a Jimmy. Something, something, M Y. I don't know if it's a J A I M Y. I don't know. Let's see if I can. Get it up close enough for us to see it through the tablet. See, the Elizabeth is quite clear. Elizabeth. And. James, Jimmy, Jamie, I don't know. 925. That's very pretty. Here's the side view. Very, very Art Deco. Different. That's 925, honey. Okay. Got it. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm just trying to find some. Here's a beautiful little pendant with a cross. Black metal. Not gun metal, black metal. Very pretty. What were you trying to find, honey? Oh, I found some. Well, I didn't put the size on this. Loose uh, pearl split. Oh. This was an eight and a half. Eight and a half. Nine two five. Got it. Next ring is a seven. Again, it's a wide band with a flat. Inside, it's also marked. 
925 Mexico. Oh, my fingers are cramping. Ugh, that didn't feel so good. Did you already do that? Yes. Okay. Okay, this is a seven, but it fits on my sixth finger. So, um, when I pull it off, see, I get some tension there. And this is flat on the inside, and it's a wide band, so you want to go up in size when you have that. I can get it on this finger, which I wear a seven, but it's tight. There you go. Thank you, honey. I have another ring. It is a size six and three quarters, almost a seven. It looks TS. What's TS? It's upside down. It's easier for me to read. There's a crown. I can't make up those words for anything on the front. It's the best I can do, everybody. Oh gosh, my fingers are cramped. It's got TS on that side. And it's got 19 something. Oh, somebody's grad college graduation right now. Yeah, that's, for that's sure. what it looks like. It's beautiful. Mm-hmm. Looks like it's gold, too. Mm-hmm. Here it is. It's signed. Ten carat. It's a pretty heavy ring, too. It's got a lot of wording on the inside. Let me see if I can get... Good luck for babes. Oh, my oh. loop, honey. Something Brothers. I guess that's the people who made it. Alright, let's see what the wording on the front is again. Sorry guys, it's uh, just impossible to read. Summer. I don't know. Can you make it out? Handed it over to the hubby. Oh, boy. It's a 10 carat graduation. That's what I got, yeah. Next, we have this beautiful pen here. This looks like 1928 with the two lovebirds in the middle. Little porcelain roses. Here's the back, and you can see that swirl, um, scroll design on the back, which is indicative of 1928 jewelry. Very pretty little brooch. This is another brooch with an old portrait in it. Vintage portrait. Here's the back. The bent the pen is a little bit bent. That can be straightened out. Did it come out? Yes. Let's straighten that out. Okay, I fixed it. Pen is much straighter now. Looks nicer. This has got a brass finish. It's very pretty. Very vintage looking. I don't know. He couldn't make it out either on the ring, so no. it's a ten carats. Class yeah. ring, but we don't know what college or anything. Yeah. Here is the back of this brooch. It's silver tone. It's a beautiful white enamel on the front. That's just a little bit of dirt there. Good condition. Ooh, here's a very pretty little heart locket. Looks like it played music. Probably needs a battery. There's a little speaker and the little 
thing that's pressed down when it's closed. Here's the front. Very cute. Very cute. It is magnetic. Do you see that? Yeah, I did. That's good. See about it? Uh huh. Here's a pretty little rose. Little stones here to the side on the leaves. I don't see any markings, I don't think. The rose is a little smashed, I think. Which is unfortunately, it's very pretty. But then a rose is curled up anyway. Hmm. So maybe not. There goes my fingers. Don't know what it is with the cramping of the fingers. Today. <clears throat> I'm going to check this for the inside. Yeah, this is just a little costume ring. Rose is not so bad on it. It definitely still has life, and you can probably straighten out those petals. Okay, I straightened out the petals. That's a very pretty little ring. It is a size. And what size is it? Size 8. Very cute. We have a little stone wired cross ring that is a size 5.5. I don't know what kind of stone that is. The wire is not magnetic. Let's see what it is here. It's copper based. It's a five and a half. a little ring missing its stone. We'll first see if it's if we find it in the earrings or anything. We'll just set it aside. Here's another ring with um, citrine like colored little rhinestones. Not rhinestones. Little crystals. Very pliable. It's adjustable. Right now it's adjusted at a size eight and a half. Trying to get where the light's better so you can see the color. Very pretty. The next ring is a size seven. It's got a purple cabochon and some little pearls to the side, set in silver tone. It looks like it might have wear or either. I keep finding this piece of hair on my thumbnail, stuck in my band aid. Get out of there. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. I don't know how long it's been doing that. Yeah, I don't know if that's scratched or not. Here's your side view. It's a seven. Here's a little girl's ring. It's a size four and a half. Little heart. You can put that in the drawer. In the kitty drawer. It's a toe ring with cat's eye and wood stone. Woodstone wood. It is very magnetic. It's a 
next is a gold tone and um, silver tone ring. Little band ring, thin band ring at six and three quarters. It's not magnetic. Let's see. It's going to be hard to rub it without getting the other one. I'm definitely going to test it. It's rubbing very silver. I got a mountain of earrings over there, don't I? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yes, you do. Yep. You know you love it. Oh, yeah, that's very silver. So, honey, this is a silver ring. Okay. 925. Maybe one of them, so. Here's little um, stars. Love this. It's a size 5. Very cute. Oh, it is magnetic, so it's costume jewelry. It's very good on the inside. You still got your silver showing on the inside as well as the outside. Did you get the size? I don't. I'm not worried about okay. size. Okay. All right. The next is size five. It can stretch to an eight. It's a dome ring with beautiful red stones, reddish purple stones, brassy metal. I'm going to go back up here. Let's see. Okay, it's still at the six. Nope. Yep. Dome ring, stretchy ring. Oh, goody, more brooches. Here's a beautiful bird brooch with purple stones. Little hummingbird. Here's the back, and it's a Monet. Yay! Monet, baby. The next is a little abalone silver bird pen. It's like a kiwi. A kiwi. Sterling and sterling silver is what it says. It's got a little butterfly emblem at the top. Very pretty. Here's another pen, cowboy boot. Here's the pack. Oh, now see that looks like it goes on top of something too. But it sure doesn't match that one. See, it's got the little ridge here. Mm -hmm. And the little two holes here, it had earrings in it at mm -hmm. one time. Yep, yeah, they're in here. Okay, he said the earrings are in there. I'm gonna put this to the side so we can get it all together. Little, little okay, all right, good. Here's a pendant, beautiful pendant. It is uh, silver tone and gold tone mixed. Beautiful um, rhinestone in the center. Very pretty, excellent condition. Here is a Pisces, creative, sensitive, giving. Here's your fish on the back. It's a very nice pendant. Here is a, ooh, an angel tack pen with gunmetal halo. Beautiful. Here's the back. Very pretty. Here's a little prayer box charm. This one looks silver. I don't know, it could just look silver. 
I'm looking for any marks. I don't see any. I don't know if I can get it open either. It's not wanting to open. Somebody might have had it sealed. Got a very ornate bell. I'm still looking for marks. I don't see any. Let's see if it's magnetic. Okay, where's the yeah. Oh, thank you, honey. It's hidden. Yeah, it's not magnetic, so let's test it. Sorry, that's where I rubbed it. Oh yeah, very silver. So we have a little silver prayer box that I can't get open, I'm not gonna force it open. I'm afraid something's inside there. I don't hear anything, but it's very heavy. I don't know if somebody sealed it or what. Here's a little stick pen. I like stick pens. I like to collect stick pens. This one's got no markings on it. It's got some wear on it. Or it needs to be clean, one or the other. Let's see, let's make sure. No, uh -uh, no markings. Here's a pen, honey. Nickel. Here is a Girl Scout pen. There's the back. Is that Hobby Lobby? Or Hobby Lot? Yeah, put it in the Hobby Lot. And I put it in the Curiosity oh, okay. Lot. Some of those are uh, collectible, and I don't know which ones they are. I have to look that up. Here's a pendant. There's the back. It's in great shape. Here's a, I think this might go to an earring, so I'm going to hold it out. I'm not sure. Here is another pretty little cameo brooch. It is resin, I believe. It's, it's not carved. Yeah, that's resin. You can just tell. Needs a little cleaning. Pretty little freshwater pearl bracelet. Let's bring this back out. So there we go. Very cute. This might be earring, honey. Or no, this is pendant. Definitely pendant. Pretty pendant to add on. Oh, a little coach charm. Isn't that adorable with the horse? Come on. Well, it just doesn't want to focus now. Bring it back in. Here we go. Let's see if that's magnetic. It's not. Sure, if that's silver or not, it could be pewter. Oh no, 
that's silver. So, honey, this is a silver little charm. Okay. Here is a little kitty cat pendant. <coughs> I'm going to go check the stones on it. It looks like it's missing one. But again, I'll have to loop it. So let me loop this and go test it. Okay, the little um, kitty pendant and the chain feeds through there. Has ten little diamonds. Four on the collar, <coughs> one on the dangle, and five on the tail. It's also marked 925 at the bottom and I've tested it. It is 925. And again, here's your... Get that up as close as I can. They're not uh, real clear diamonds, but they are diamonds, and you can tell they're diamonds. They do have a little shine to it. So, there's that. That's an earring. I have another little ring, gold tone ring here, band type. It's a size 7 with a little diamond cutting. Very thin. Feels like it's aluminum. It's not magnetic. It's not marked anywhere, so I'm assuming it's aluminum. Here's a little piece. Charm or whatever. It's marked 925. I'm going to test it real quick. Oh yeah, that's going to be 925. It is, it is, it is, it is. Very much 925. Okay. That's 925. Okay. Okay, let's see. Where am I? Sitting right across. Next is gunmetal color lobster claw chain with an extender extender chain you've got three types of curved chains two are black one is gunmetal in color so that's why it looks a little lighter it's beautiful it comes to these beautiful crystal beads they are glass they're very cold and then this fringe that loops like that at the end. This is a very pretty necklace. Very pretty. All right. Next is. I don't think I got that untangled. Worth oh, the, the next is not untangled. Worth the darn. I'll be yeah. right back. Okay, I got one of the necklaces undone. It's beautiful pearls. You've got the light gray, the charcoal gray, and then the pearly white, the large pearly white whites. Beautiful lobster claw clasp. Beautiful chain. No wear on this chain. It's pretty, 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 pretty um, layers of pearls. Just luscious layers of gray charcoal and white pearls. Very pretty. And then we had this necklace. Looks like it may be gold. Let's get wishful. Oh, I see something. Yeah, we need to move it up in the world so we can see it. Focus. That side, there's that side is where I keep seeing it. Definitely have to have a loop. What would we do without our loop? 
miss a lot of things. One mm twentieth, -hmm. fourteen carat. Awesome! I love you, Mom. And yes, I do. I love her. I miss her. I miss both our moms. One twentieth, who? Over fourteen k, okay. and this one is the charm is. Gold field too, I think. Yeah, 14 karat gold field too. So the whole necklace is. 120th or? 120th, okay. 14 karat, that's gold field. Okay. Honey. Very awesome. Love that. Then we have another small necklace. This one might be sterling. One could wish. And maybe not. Just got that look. Nice chain. A little bar here. Looks like something was attached and came off. Definitely. Come on. Let's see, it probably had a little pearl on it attached. I'm going to put that in the Hobby Lot. Let's see if it's magnetic. Yes, it's magnetic. Okay, what do I got left here? I've got a little cuff. It's got a green stone on this side and it's missing on that side. Very, very small cuff bracelet, and we'll put this in the Hobby Lot. Oh gosh, it's not magnetic though. Then again, maybe not. Let's just give it a quick rub. I think I see copper. I definitely see copper. So, very cute. Very small. Here's BFF. We're going to put that in the Hobby Lot. Well, this is a nice chain. With bonus hair, of course. What kind of bonus hair today? Ugh. Gross. It is... Kremitz, maybe? Here's your lobster claw. I'm going to have to loop this. Yes, it says Kremitz. Your lobster claw has a mark on it. But you can't read it. Having a clue. Let's see. Thank you, honey. Oh, very, it's magnetic. But look at this. Look at the little rhinestones on that. Can y'all see that? They're very cute. There's the rhinestones. You see them? Prong set. That's a very cute vintage bracelet. Let's see if I can get it closer. There you go. Now you can see it. Isn't that cute? There's your crimmets. And I did see a mark on this, on this side. But I don't know what that is. You see that? There you go, that's a cute bracelet. Mm -hmm. Here's a nice um, shamrock bracelet. No wear on it. It's also marked Avon, of course. Why it's so nice. Metal on it. Have little dancing shoes or uh, ruby shoes from the Wizard of Oz. Little charm. 
We have a heart charm here. We have another little rhinestone bracelet. Lobster claw class, and it's also marked. Monet. So we've got a Monet that's in silver tone, and then that little rhinestone chain crimmets was in gold tone. Mommy bracelet, or I don't know. Some people say um, children with autism are giving these bracelets too. I'm going to put this in the hobby lot. Here's a barrette. Looks brand new. In very good condition. Oh, it's got some wear. Nice barrette. Mm. Watch fan, different ones, only one sided. Garbage, little um, pen, flower pen, little purple beads you could add to it. Just a piece of paper mache that came off of probably an earring. Another piece of band. I don't know what you can use those for. Um, let's see. We're going to put this in the Hobby Lot and this. I'm going to put that in the Hobby Lot. Somebody might want to put it on their journal or something. These bands here, I don't know what purpose they'd serve, but they do have buckles on them, so I will put them in the Hobby Lot. Hobby Lot and Hobby Lot. Let's see, what else do we have? Oh yeah, we're gonna wait to see if we have the other piece to that. The other piece I have here is this necklace. I have to fix it, hold on. Okay, here's the necklace. One, two, three, four, five layers. Different size chains. Very cute. There's the top. We've got um, textured Rolo chain here. Let's bring this forward. And the gun metal. You have a just a nice little curved chain here in silver tone. Another Rolo chain in silver tone. And then a black chain that's a curved chain. And then the big old um, Rolo chain here. Rolo chain around here. I'll bring it all the way around. Whoa. You've got a lobster claw, an extender with a bead. Necklace is in excellent condition. Since it's all metal, metal wise, it's in ex excellent condition. Very cute. Okay, we've got our earrings. And so I'm going to show you all the earrings here. These I kind of wanted to make sure if they were 14 karat or not. But I'm not going to worry about that right now. they are little clip backs. A little puppy uh, jumping through a ring, I think. Looks like a puppy to me. We have some um, French wire uh, snowman. Very cute. Silver tone. Good condition. We have some door knockers. Gold tone. Here's the backs. Ugh. That doesn't look pleasant. Let's take that off. Much better. I don't see any markings on them. And take 
these off. Okay, here we go. That's what they look like on the back. There's these. Um, they are marked. Is there a Coventry? They have these little hoops. With these little rings. These look like 1928 earrings. I don't know if they are. They're not marked. But they have that um, 1928 look and that's a brand by the way and there's the back it's got the swirls and the scrolls and that's usually what you find on 1925 28 jewelry here's some pretty uh, leaf let me get this off of here Leaf design, clips, we can get them up here, very pretty, here's the backs, I don't see any maker's mark, these are post earrings and they look like um, stainless steel but they are magnetic, so they're not. Very pretty. The metal is in great shape. We have some black and white stars and dots and clip earrings. Here's the back. They feel like wood. I think they're wood, but I'm not sure. We have some Mickey Mouse rainbow earrings. Very cute. Let's see if there's any marks on these. Real quick. I don't see any. Very cute earrings though. And next are some more clip earrings, and they are not marked, and they're pretty bugle beads, not quite bugle beads, they're kind of short beads, but they are very pretty, a peacock color. These are beautiful, and these might be silver. Looking at the back first. Nothing on the backs. These are opalites. And nothing on the stem, so I don't, I guess they're not. They are post. They're very pretty. Hold them. There you go. Those are opalite beads. They're beautiful. And then you have this little beautiful decorative cap with a little rhinestone on front. They're very, very pretty. Here's some little caged pearls here. Know what we've got going on here. Yuck, that's what we have. There we go. Little cage pearl earrings. Here's some little disc earrings with um, French wires with a little pink rhinestone in the middle. Very cute. Here's the backs. They're in good shape. Come on. 
here's some little dangles. Looks like glass, be glass beads, excuse me. I think those are marked. I'm not sure, let me check. No, I guess I'm seeing things. I thought I saw 925. Very pretty though. This is little blue rhinestone, French wire, and acrylic blue fasted stone. As soon as I get it untwisted here, there we go. Here's one. Here's the other. And that, like I said, that's a blue stone. Blue fasted bead and a blue rhinestone. Very cute. French wires. Let me check these out. Yeah, they're marked something. Let me see. 